that been plenty of people that I met in the world. It's been plenty of people oh, no, I met that sure. only wanted like sex or just only wanted to talk to you because your body looked good and stuff like this. So it's like different men do like you for different things. We have men that like you for being a regular person or just being a girl or just liking you because you're too pretty. Because I don't have to do like me just for me and don't even care about how I look. Then I don't have to do like me because of my body and he just wanted to have sex. And I, I ain't going to lie. Sometimes your intention as a girl, y'all want to have toxic traits. Y'all want to talk to men because, oh, he he know how to pull you or, or he hard to get. So you want to keep on talking to him because you feel like that's going to boost your confidence. So I just feel like a lot of stuff is girls' fault. But, and a lot of stuff we're not going to admit because we are women. But I think it's 50-50 with both. And it just takes for a girl and a boy to come half and half and understand if y'all want to make money in, in this life for real, y'all got to come together. Because if you really think about it, y'all cannot take care of yourself right now by yourself in a one-bedroom apartment in Texas because it's $1,500. And if you want to say something. If you my age this young and you out there getting it for real and your mama not helping you, good job. Yeah. Don't for even sure. say that. Good job. Because I know a lot of women that's out there faking it. Yeah, and I agree with you. It's 50 50. Like I think guys are just as shitty too. Like, don't don't ever sit here and think that I think men are these awesome things, guys. Like, I don't think men are awesome. I think 10% of men maybe are worth relationships today. Maybe. You they're know, so like, you like it's, it's, it's that, yeah, and it's same for women though. Like, like you're saying, it's 50 50. Like, there's a lot of messed up women and there's a lot of messed up men. So, what was somebody else gonna say? I think somebody else, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, just look at the old time, like back in the day. Like, look at my granny and them, they didn't have no choice, they they got stuck to, to whoever they got stuck Not with, real, they even though that man from Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. and they still made it and they made it work. And I say they made it work for 50 years and more. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what that's the problem, like, with relationships today. They just want to go with the now and not for like the future and what's going to happen. Like you ain't going to get, I mean, you can get somewhere with, like by yourself, but like just what y'all was just talking about earlier about the self care and the intimacy, you going to need that man sooner or later. Exactly, bro. Mm -hmm. And you like, going to need some help. You're going to be tired of doing it by yourself. Oh, I'm God. telling you, like I get tired of doing stuff by myself. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I say I'm independent, but you get tired of doing some stuff by yourself. So you ask your mom, you're going to get tired of asking oh, your parents. You're going to get tired of asking people when you want to ask your significant other because that's the person you telling stuff. Your significant other don't always got to be somebody you have sex with. That can be your best friend. That can be a friend. You can just say, oh, I don't want to have sex for three months. If he going to be, if that's your man, your nigga for real, he ain't going to have sex for three months. He going to be willing to wait on you and yep. sit there and wait. But you got to find the right person. And then, like I said, if he ain't the right person, then you should have left a long time ago. You should mm -hmm. never been staying in a relationship that wasn't good for you. Back to self-love. You should have loved yourself enough to leave that situation alone and to work on yourself while you could have. While y'all yeah. was friends. No, facts. The, the uh, One of the saddest videos I just saw recently on the Dating Over 40 hashtag was a woman that was 46. And she was crying to the camera because, like, her whole page was her, like, roasting guys basically all the time, like, talking shit about dating and stuff. And then she was crying on here. And she was like, guys, I know I do that shit all the time, but I'm done now. Like, I'm about to go into surgery. She was going into surgery for something. And she was like, I had this huge, like, flat, like a, a epiphany moment, she said. And, like, she realized when she was about to go into surgery, she doesn't have a man when she gets out of surgery that's going to be able to take care of her. She's going to be calling her mom to help her, her See, sister like, to help her. I, that's, and, I, that was the last yeah. thing I want to do is call my mom for help. Like, yeah. This but, I, she but, wants that, to help. but that made me so sad watching that video because I was just like, this is cr this is why I do this show, y'all, because I don't want women to end up like that 46 year old woman like that's that's regretting the 10 or 20 years that she was having fun or whatever, you know, like it's it's crazy. And it's so normal today. Like, it's so normal to be like like that other girl that was just here to sit there and think that you're the shit and, and, and you're actually very damaged. And like there's a lot of people that are in that situation where they're super damaged, but they have this crazy ego. And it's like the damage is even there, but it is. It's still and That's there. why I said sometimes like, as a woman, I feel like you should give yourself a break at, at a young age. Mm -hmm. I feel like if you're 20, 22, 21, like my age, it is good to have a break. Because if you don't have no break, bro, you might drive yourself crazy a when you get older. From what? Like, from bro, yeah. from men. From men, like, from men yeah. Yeah. If, if you have, if you, I'm telling you, I don't see women talk to men and the ages they needed to take a break. You don't talk to so many people. The energies everybody you don't talk to is on you. It's in you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to arrest a break. If you can't go three months without talking to a dude, then you're messed up personally. Yep. Because you're you right. cannot... You, you don't know how to feel without a man. Yep. Like, you just and like, oh, my God, I, I want to talk to somebody. He not my boyfriend. Then you, that's not self-love. You really saying fuck yourself because mm. you still with the dude that ain't even your boyfriend. He talking to 16, 15 other girls. So my question mm. is, does this all revert back to the initial question of, you know, us doing this at a young age, earlier age? No, I think that and, just goes on hook. <laughs> no, I'm, but I'm saying, like, that's this is what the initial question was, like, about this being at an early age, rather right? if it's 22 or 25 and you're not with the right person, like you were saying how your your grandparents or whatever be together, 
people wait 18, 19, 20 years. Oh, I got to wait till my kids grown to leave. I never wanted to be with that person. Like, I feel like that's settling. That's what I'm saying. Why would I settle? Because I'm like, oh, let me let me go and pick. Let me go find the right man right now when my husband supposed to come find me. Like, but if, who said we was looking? Exactly. Exactly. That's you, what I'm saying. When you're vetting, you're looking. You're looking for this partner to go build with. Do all this. Is that not vetting? See, but, see, see, but here's the thing. Is that not I, vetting? Here's the thing. Like you just said, I want my husband to come to me. And you're right. Like the guy does need to pursue you a little bit first. But what I have to teach women today is that y'all are in this really shitty situation where you want to be chased. But it's, there's so it's many not women. About being chased. If I like somebody, well, no, you, but them. you want him to come to you though, at least yeah. still on the first I time, okay? But here's the thing: there's so many girls that give out pussy for nothing that it's super devalued, and you almost have to go chase the guys that y'all want now. It, used to, it wasn't like this 20, 30 years ago. I'm really tired. But it's that. different now. Yeah. It's really different. Like my girl pursued me. Like it's oh, like man. you got like it's a really shitty world today where if he's a high, if he's a high value guy. You kind of have to lock them in. And that's what you kind of, you don't want to settle, you know? So if you don't want to settle, you are going to, and like, here's the thing though, you're going to compete. I don't like, like you were saying earlier that you might have a different type of attraction than other women and stuff, but I feel like you're probably attracted to the same type of men that most women are attracted to. Okay. And here's the thing in the black community, black men are very fetishized. Okay. You got Asians, Mexicans, like every type of girl, white girls, they all want your man. Mm. So if y'all, if you want to rate, if you want to date within your race, you gotta compete with all those other women. You might have to accept that he's gonna be a cheater if he's six four and he yeah, makes and, and he makes six figs. And then you like, man, I, don't, yeah. I still want to be with him, but you know it's Brittany Brianna from Orlando, Florida, and this homegirl <laughs> from over there. And it's like, dang, you gonna mess yourself up mentally. I done did that before. I ain't gonna even lie. I done talked to a boy, but then I'm like thinking that I'm gonna win just because I'm the one that's staying in Dallas with him. But he's mm -hmm. talking to all these other females, not knowing like. They come to see him, though. Yeah, all those red flags. Uh, at least you're noticing them, though. And that's the thing. When y'all see those things, if that's not what you want, you got to immediately leave, like you were kind of saying. Uh, we'll finish the question out. Uh, well, would you get married or have kids at an earlier age knowing those stats? Uh, no, I still keep it where it is, just for the simple fact of it is, because I'm not where I want to be. Uh, I know. I know. I still don't know, like, what I want to do. And, like, honestly, I, I had my whole little, my whole little just, out and about outside in these streets kind of phase. And I know where I am now. I'm like, I'm not looking for nothing. However, by 35, um, you're going to be ready to go. I'm going to be ready to go. Hey, be careful. You got high sure. risk pregnancy at 35. <laughs> so you freeze your eggs. You know yeah. You yeah. You got me. Hey, and don't pull Jennifer Aniston <laughs> and wait too long to freeze your eggs because she waited too long and now she can't have a kid. Uh, poor Jennifer. What about you? Mm, so, if I found the right person, I would do it just because I do want to have a family. And, like, that is uh, one of my biggest goals is to have, like, a happy, healthy family, mostly because I didn't have one when I was little. So I want to be able to provide everything I can for my child. And I know before I reach 30, I'm going to be financially to the point to where I can. It's just rather not I'm going to have the man that is going to be a good father figure. He's going to be – um He's going to be there and everything like that. But it's also, too, it's like anytime I sleep with someone, I make sure, you know, if an oopsie happens, <laughs> that they're going to be able to stand exactly. up for the kid. Because I'm not going to go fuck some bum exactly. that you has know, no job know he just because yeah. he's cute. Yeah. Like, no, he's going to – I need to make sure that this is going to be someone that can provide exactly. for our child. For That's what I'm case. saying. Yeah. Women are not dumb. And, like, to piggyback on what you said – with the kids, I think you're only going to feel that if you're more so a family person. Because I'm saying that on the side because, like she said, I grew up with just myself. Like, it wasn't a lot of us. So, it's like, I'm actually, I do want kids when I get older. So, it's just like, that's what we, be, like, it ain't wrong to feel like, I don't think it's wrong to feel like how you're feeling. But I, I just know. feel like when we have, we actually want kids at at the age we wanted them, like, not like, I'm not saying I wanted kids young. I'm just saying that I do want kids because I ain't never had, was around kids when I was young and I'm on my own. You know, I didn't say I didn't want kids. I just know what I want for my kids. And like, if I'm not at that stage right now, or like, if I'm not there at, you 27, you don't have no kids, you don't have no husband under that. I'm not going to be like, oh, okay, damn, I'm almost 30. I got to do this because my kid, like, I'm not going to be like, that doesn't mean like the st statistics are man-made. 
They're not man-made. They're facts. I what mean, do you mean? <laughs> it, it's man-made. Like, somebody made <laughs> but, that shit because that doesn't necessarily but mean but that that's true. true. Yes, it is. It that's what a statistic is. That's the I, entire point of statistics. You got to understand my, that. Like, my mama had they're, they're me true. at 37. She was an exception to a rule. That's she was, like, okay, you got to understand. She okay. is an exception she, to the rule. Oh, she was under that. She was. She she still made it. She was 37. Yes, she had me. She had a husband. She has all of that. And so... And our parents' generation is oh my bad. Our my, parents' generation. My mama met my daddy. My mama met my daddy when she well she got with my daddy when they was she was like thirty five. Yeah, and I'm telling you, our parents' generation isn't going through what we're going through right now in the dating marketplace. It's two completely different fucking things. So we yeah. can't ever compare. Okay. We can't even take but advice from them. Here, hold even, on one second. I need to go into detail on this. What you're just saying. So the reason why you have to care right now, there's two factors of why y'all have to care. One of them is a big deal for you. 